with my aim assist though. Ladies and gentlemen, I know the title seems a little cap, but trust me when I say this, no aim assist is actually meta. But before you go and say, oh my god, this like the video, aim assist is broken, people on controller are OP. It's not this video where I'm going to tell you, just use, always use no aim assist and you'll be the best. This isn't what this video is about. Trust me when I say this, give me a couple minutes and you'll see what I mean. So when a lot of people ask me what is the best aim assist for sniping, I always tell them this simple thing. Go either with focusing or precision when you are starting for practicing, reason is because it gives you a lot more aim assist while you're aiming down sights but obviously when you're hip firing it doesn't give you as much so why is this better because it's kind of like the training wheel so you're basically starting right so when you're sniping and you're using either focusing or precision it is going to stick uh, significantly more than if you would use standard so it's kind of like to practice right so it's practice 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 but once you get a hang of that stickiness and of that centering and hitting those targets then you go and switch to standard because standard gives you better hip fire so so if you use precision all the time you're going to be losing a lot more close range gunfights because you don't have that hit fire so ultimately standard is the best but where am i going with all this why why am i talking about no aim assist well no aim assist has a little bit to do with this idea well, let me break it down into the real world so you can understand this imagine that i told you or your coach whatever said that you had to run every single day from monday to sunday one mile each day right wherever you want you have to want, run one mile but on wednesdays you had to run five miles right so the first days right that you're running one mile you're gonna be like fuck this shit man it's hard and then the day that you have to run five miles it's gonna be even harder because you're gonna have to run i mean significantly further and you're gonna be like oh my god this is so hard but what is gonna happen after the day that you run five miles it is gonna be significantly easier for you to run that one mile because you just did something a lot harder and it, and then hence the same thing you run the next the rest of the week one mile and then once you get to five miles away it's gonna be hard and again so where does this all have to go this ties into the same idea of the no aim assist so you play with standard aim assist right and let's say one day of the week or like your your kind of like your warm-up game at the beginning of the day you use no aim assist only in this situation and when i was playing aim assist i mean the gameplay in the background you're you're watching right now it's actually without aim assist so when you're playing without aim assist like at the beginning it's really really hard like really no lock on on your controller is really really hard but what that cost me to do is that it, it cost me to to focus a lot more on my aiming and to like to really actually go sweaty on my aim and like try my best as i could because you get no help whatsoever like no aim assist literally means a no aim assist and it is a lot harder than it seems but again this it, it forced me to play a lot better like to, to my snipes and my aims like i really 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 had to focus on my aim and where i was shooting at so what happens after i play that game with no aim assist or my warm-up game because it's, it's like really really hard well after that the next day or you know the next game that you're playing and you turn on that aim assist you're gonna be like oh my god aim assist is so good and it is so helpful and it is the same thing no aim assist it's kind of like it, 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 it trains your aim right because you're really focusing on your aim you got no training wheels you got no space to make mistakes right because if you move a little bit to the right then you're gonna miss your shot with aim assist again it slows down your aim so you focus so much on your aim Aim, that then when you go to aim assist it just seems like it's so easy same thing with the run you run five miles that day and it seems so hard but then when you go to the one mile run it's gonna seem a lot easier same case here so i think i'm gonna start doing that when i go into my warm-up games i'm really gonna go into like play just one game without aim assist and like practice maybe in like in clash or payload something like that because trust me it does really help out a lot and then i mean as you guys can see right here in, in like in, in the clip after after you've done this a couple of times really like it's all about centering even though i had no aim assist after a while i got my snipes in i got a couple quick scopes in i got a couple of aggressive snipes and that's what it's all about it's all about learning that recenter so that's why when you know how to center into someone's head especially without aim assist like after you do this for a while trust me that when you put on that aim assist you're just gonna feel like a god all right so do this if you want to improve your aim put no aim assist either the first game that you're playing or either one day of the week just do this and the next days that you play with aim assist it will be so much better and it will help you a lot but i did feel it helped my aim tremendously because literally everything that you're doing 
you are going to be focusing on that aim. But let me know what you guys think. If you like this idea, like the video. And if you guys don't like this, then put it in the comment section why. Peace out, everybody. I'll see you all in the next one.